Okay, it's time for another DIY, and we are making these fun, beautiful bubble bath bars today. This is something that I was inspired to do after visiting the Lush store because I was just like, $10 for this thing, holy cow. But then when I went home and used it, I was obsessed, but I was like, I can't be spending $10 on a bubble bath every time. So I found out how to make it myself, and you can add any scents and colors that you want. This is a citrus one, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. And also in the description below, I'm going to have all of the websites that I found the ingredients at and the prices. I was able to make all of these bars for about $1.15 a piece. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, of course you're going to have a ton of bars, but I'm going to be giving them away as gifts for Christmas. So it made sense for me to buy large quantities of the supplies and just make a bunch of them for my friends. So let's get started. So I wear glasses just to remind me not to touch my eyes when I'm doing this. I look so much smarter now. And also gloves to protect your hands. And you do need to wear a mask, but I don't have a mask, so I'm going to have this handy dandy bandana on. I'm gonna look so cool. So we're gonna mix all of the dry ingredients first. It's two cups of baking soda, two third cups cornstarch, two third cups of cream of tartar, and two cups SLSA. This is why you need the mask. This stuff makes you cough and it's very easy to get airborne. So this is why you need to be wearing the gloves also. Gently mix all of those dry ingredients together in your dry bowl. Then you're going to mix all of your wet ingredients in a separate smaller bowl. You need one cup of glycerin, 10 or 20 drops or a splash of the citrus smell that you want. As much as you want, if you want it really smelly, do more. Then you need two tablespoons of a moisturizing oil. I'm using almond oil. And you're going to then mix all of the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And I'm just using my hands since I have the gloves on. It's easier that way. And it's kind of fun. It's like Play-Doh, it just starts to squish together. And then it starts to hold its form and become more of like a dough. That's what you want. As soon as you can squish it in your hand and it holds its form, then you know that you have the right consistency. If it is a little bit dry, you can add a little bit more glycerin. Do not add water. Next, you're gonna add the food coloring. You're gonna wanna do 10 to 20 drops, or as much as you want. If you want more coloring, that's fine too, just depending on if you want your bubbles to actually be colored or not. Um, I mixed mine into three different bowls so that I could do a red, a yellow, and an orange for the citrus splash. And so I took all three bowls, made sure that they were the right colors I wanted. Then I just laid them out on parchment paper, one at a time and rolled them out with another piece of parchment paper on top until it was about a fourth of an inch thick and a kind of a rectangle square or a square shape. Mine's more of like a rectangle. Then I laid the next color on top of that and kind of just squished it with my hands and then rolled it over the top with another piece of parchment paper and then did the same with the yellow. And this will kind of compact them all together and make them a little bit thinner, which is fine. It's fine to get it nice and thin because the next step is to roll them all together kind of like a sushi roll. And I'm just taking the paper and folding it up on itself as I go and just pulling it away and pushing it. And it's really not that hard. As soon as you get it molded together in the loaf shape, next you're going to take some dental floss and just cut the bubble bars and lay them out to dry. They need to dry for at least a day. Mine took like three days before they weren't soft anymore. But you can make them as thin or as thick as you want. This was so much fun, you guys. I hope you try it because this made 13 bubble bars with the uh, amounts that I gave you in this recipe. And that would be the equivalent to paying $130 at Lush because each bubble bar is $10 at Lush. And these actually give off a ton of bubbles. So I even find myself breaking them in half and just using a half per bubble bath, especially for the smaller bathtubs with my kids, even a fourth. But in my large bathtub, a half works fine, but you could definitely use the full if you like lots and lots of big fluffy bubbles. And the scents are amazing. Of course, you could do any scent or color you want, but this is so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe and comment below. And let me know if it worked for you or what scents you tried because I'd love to hear from you guys where you got your scents and what kinds you like. They smell so good. I hope you guys try it. We'll see you next time. Bye.